No one believed me, man. This thing is big, 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 big. Yeah, I love the box. Very cool. But they have to go. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Hey, you're watching Beamus. Yo, this thing that you're seeing right here is the craziest thing I have ever built. I say that with a lot of my sets, but seriously, have you guys ever seen anything like this before? This is insanity. And this is from Keepley. Our boys, Keepley is doing some crazy stuff. Licensed authorized sets. This one came out just around Chinese New Year's. We're only getting it now in the office. This is available on my store, brickmeupscotty.com. I'll put the link in the description. It is not a cheap set. I'll be honest with you, man. Not a lot of sellers are probably gonna sell it because they're like, dude, this is way, way too expensive. But it is freaking crazy cool, man. Right, Chris? Yes. Yes. Let's take a look at this thing. So what you're looking at is Keepley's Lucky Factory K19903. They do not specify how many pieces are on this thing. Yes, factory. How many sets do you know has a built-in factory? There is one other set that I do have from Brick Link. Maybe one day I'll pull that out. It's an amazing little set. It's got like the history of Lego and it has a little bit of a factory feel to it. But this is full blown, full scale factory thing going on. What is it exactly? Why is it look so crazy? Well, let me show you the box first. Look at Chris has to go so wide because the freaking box is so huge. Actually, a couple of you have ordered this already from me with the box. We had to like cushion it and I had to make custom boxes to fit this in. And I had to check if it's damaged anywhere. But if you're gonna order this thing with a box, be, be prepared to break out your wallet some more because you are gonna have to pay extra for it. That's the rules, not my rules, man. It's courier's rules. Stop being like, why is your shipping so expensive? I can buy it for this price or this price. If you can get it cheaper, go for it, man. If you're in Asia, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. If you're overseas, you know, good luck. This thing is actually big. I, I don't know how many pieces this thing is. I wish I knew. I don't wanna do the count. Who has this? Whoever has this set, please let me know the count, how many pieces there are. Chris, you take a wild guess. How many pieces do you think? 4,000. 4,000? I think it was a lot of small pieces, man. Maybe I'll do a count for you guys, you know. Let's see who gets the closest, all right? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me motivation to, to open each page of my manual and do a count. Anyway, here's the back of the box. Very nice presentation. Very nice design. And even the inside, if I open this thing up. Here's the inner boxes. This one has a handle. This is like section number one, section number two. All the bags are numbered. Keepley does a great job with that. They have the worst kind of material on their plastic bags, man. Pieces will get stuck to your bag. When you're gonna open it up and pour everything out, double check your bags, I swear to you. I've had so many missing pieces and it's like inside caught in the static of the bag. So be careful for that. Oh yeah, before I show you the set, I should let you know that if you buy the set, you actually get a free gift. This lucky tiger. I let my son build it. So some pieces are kind of missing on it, but it still works. It's a manual crank on the tail. It looks cute. And a lot of you have actually been buying the Lucky Cat, which is sold separately. Not sure how long this free gift will last with the set. If you get it now, you get this. And it cranks here on the tail, just to show you his back. And look, he has a little butthole too. Here's the massive encyclopedia. This book is around 300 something pages. It's really big, but the presentation is so well done. There's a thing all about this whole concept. And Chris, thank you so much for helping me with the translation. So the idea behind this is that it's a factory that's run by the Chinese god of money. Somewhere in the heavens, because it's all clouds everywhere. He's made this factory, he's making gold for everyone. Share the gold, share the wealth, everyone be happy. All that good stuff. Go watch my dad's music video. I'll put the link in the description. Now some of you guys might be like, that's your daddy? Yes, it is. That's my dad and he's badass. Have you guys seen my version of the video? Okay, I'll put that there too in the description, but that one's terrible. But anyway, here's the book. It does have one single sticker I did not use because it goes way inside. You're not gonna see it, so I didn't bother to put it on, but very cool that they included like a little bit of information there and just to show you how easy it is to follow the steps. And it does come with a couple characters or figures that don't look like the typical ones. Here, show one more page there. Okay, let's just look at this thing. This was an absolute blast to put together. This one was so much fun because there's so many different things going on, different techniques. 
Besides that one sticker, everything that you see on the set that has a pattern is a print. Isn't that amazing? Look at this thing, it's crazy, man. This thing is a lot bigger than I thought. It's super heavy, it is sturdy. There are a lot of little details in there, like little pieces that might pop off on you. So you do have to be a little bit careful, but dude, the colors on this thing is awesome. I'm just gonna do a quick spin for you so you can get an idea here. So if you guys are in a rush, you don't wanna watch my video or just wanna get out of here and just see me, tell me if it's good or not. It is good, go and get it. There, the review is finished. That's all you need to see. Now for all you elite fans, we're gonna look at this thing in much more detail. The set has no lights and it has no motor. So everything's all manual. They have a conveyor belt, which is the only thing that moves that you crank. There are little Technic pieces here and there. The idea is that this is a gold factory. So you make the gold, you drop it in here. The conveyor belt will drag it all the way across here and it'll move it all the way in there and it'll drop it to this cart that is a lion and then the cart will fly off and deliver the gold to you. I'm gonna show you how it works. Stay tuned for that. But let's just talk about the overall vibe. Dude, it's so hard to figure out where to start on this set, but I'm just gonna start here because it's like kind of like the courtyard or like the front yard area. There's no way to reach it in there. There's tons of gears along the wall. Everything connects perfectly together. I had zero issues putting any of those gears in. They got like some extinguishers there that says lucky 100%. So on the door, you got a print of some lions, a decoration there. The door opens and closes just fine. It is hard to reach into the set. If I had to like nitpick or complain about the set, it's the build here, like the walls, they're really flimsy because it's not really closed off. You have to be, you know, careful when you're applying pieces. If you push off a piece and it falls down, it might be kind of hard to get, but it's just a little thing, man. I mean, this thing is so, so impressive. The one thing I really love about Keep Lee is like the Naruto set, a lot of little like details with the pipe and stuff. They do that a lot here too, and it's just, it was so much fun to put those pieces on, and it just brings out so much more detail. I do have to say the wheel is a little bit loose when you put those pieces on, so some parts, I, you can see me, I added an extra stud to hold it a little tighter. So when you walk through those doors, you come to the back here, which is where all the magic is happening, I guess. That's where they melt your gold, whatever that thing is. Crazy, right? Now, it's really unfortunate that you can't get in there, as you're building it, you'll probably appreciate it more because it's so it's so open, it's so fun to like place everything. You can't really take these upper sections off, but you don't really have to go in there. You can kind of see the majority of what's going on right there on camera. When I do the conveyor belt, when I move it, you see that thing move? Yeah, look at that. It's like the Death Star from Star Wars. A mini one. Cracks just fine. The details of that machine it's cool, man. It won't fall apart on you. Now, it's really hard to see here on the side. There's just more pipes and more details there. There's a couple of printed tiles as well along that wall. And there is a second floor here. There's a little ladder. That is a robot. There's a couple of robot guys in here. I'm like, that is so cute. I love how they put these little guys in there. The ones that are like the elves, right? They're the ones fixing Santa's money. Or the Chinese god, anyway. Above the spinning machine is this piece right there, I don't even know what that is. It looks very sci-fi right there, whatever that is. I wish I knew. What were they smoking when they made this thing? On the inside, on the second floor, there's actually a control panel there, a computer screen, and it has the Chinese money god and all the stuff that's going on, but it's, it's impossible to get to. On this side, you got a couple of clouds and it's so cool how they made it like pop out. Three dimensional, man. That's the kind of stuff that I like. And below here is where you're gonna drop all the gold and the printed pieces are so nice. It looks so grand and they use a lot of these chrome pieces too, like just like the bat robot that we reviewed, except this is all gold. It looks like an Iron Man thing going on. Then we come to this side over here. Dude, I just look so complex, man. But it's really easy to follow the instructions. You'll love this. If you buy it, yeah, you're gonna be amazed by this thing. The other thing too is keep playing discontinues their set really, really fast. I was telling Chris, man, the Evangelion robots are discontinued no more. So if you have a chance to get this, if you want to get it, just get it. Don't wait. If you wait too long, this thing won't be around anymore. So it's kind of obvious there's a conveyor belt here. So you're going to drop in the gold and the conveyor belt is going to move it. You got more little robots here and down here. You got a big sign right there that says saving on the side 
There's more of this cloud with pipes. I don't know, it's just like kind of like a crazy thing going on. So you got a little staircase here, the robot working, making sure the gold quality is good. She's supposed to take these pieces, which is like gold, okay? You take the gold and you drop it in there and the crank is on the side, which you'll see later. But just to show you how you crank it, there goes the gold. Yeah, that's cool, not camera. But wee! So it goes on conveyor belt number one. Robot has checked it, good, approved, and it just keeps on going. Thank goodness everything functions just fine. And I like the conveyor belt tracks. They're like tank parts. Above the gold machine thing, look at all those gadgets and stuff along there. Chris was trying to help me translate it, saying like, oh, it's kind of like ingredients, I guess you could say, of like the sky, human remains. I mean, I don't know, but anyway, the idea is that you, it's like all these things being mixed together here. You got dials and gadgets there, and it makes your gold. This is what the gold looks like. This right here is like an element reader, like feng shui, if you know like your, I don't know, psychic feng shui, whatever, but that's just like an elemental meter. I guess whatever it lands on, like if you're a fire or water element, this will happen to you, etc. It's just one of those things where anyway, it looks really neat right there. Here's a really detailed look of the gold pieces. Unfortunately for two pieces, I was missing the back. They weren't gold plated. Unless I'll use those in the set somewhere. But anyway, it doesn't bother me. So cool, lots of detail. I like this area. Continuing on on the conveyor belts, two signs there that goes for safety. Be safe, yo. Don't get caught in the conveyor belt. And there's a tiny little robot there. He has some gold coins inside this thing. I don't know why that's there. Maybe it's like quality check. If it's crappy gold, he'll take it away from you. Now we keep going down the conveyor belts. I like the arrows, like go this way. The gold is going to continue along here and it's going to reach this robot arm. This thing is actually one of the last things you build, but man, it was like so much fun. I'm like, yo, that's cool. They have a little hand right here. The little fingers can open up and be like, yo, oh, reject, reject. So, you know, let's do this again. I'm going to drop in the gold and I'm like, yo, let's crank this sucker up. There it goes. Rolling, rolling. There. That's going to get to the hand. Dude. Check it, make sure it's okay. Yes, you're all right. You are approved, all good to go. And there goes the gold. It just keeps on going and going and going. Keep on cranking and it's gonna go into this crazy contraption. This thing is going to scoop the gold right there. Look at that. And it's gonna push the gold up onto the ramp and put it on this cart. The actual contraption of the scoop part is really fun. A lot of little pieces, but it is easy to put together. I am kind of worried like if something falls off, how do I get in there? But it's pretty secure. I like the overall design of it and the little greebling or the little details around it. And this is really neat. And I love how the gold just travels from one belt to the other and it goes inside this cart. Ah, so look at all the gears right there. And this is the crank I was showing you guys earlier. You can see how it's moving everything. So thank goodness it works just fine. You know, I wonder if you can motor, put a motor on this thing. That'd be kind of cool, man. I'm sure you can just attach it to this part, right? All you have to do is just tell it to turn. Yeah, boy. Not only do they have pipes, but they have like exhaust car pipes right there. So there's another switch here that you pull back, you put it down and it holds a little clip on the inside. So when I lift this up and let go, it's gonna go And that's actually gonna push this little lion cart out. So I'm gonna crank this gold. You're gonna see it gonna kind of flop into the cart right there. Now it's in and I'm gonna flick this part up and go bam, there you go. So this thing goes flying down here and goes yeah. And we've got our gold. That is so cool, man. I like that. So above the main entrance, it's just a really intricate looking design, the wheel in the middle. That's actually pretty cool. And I got a couple signs there. So the two signs that you see on the side is watch out for high temperature and safety first. So at least these guys are all about safety. Then we come up to the upper floor, which is the boss's room. There's this mighty throne. The back wall has some crazy design to it and the table actually has something I've never seen before. It has a little flap here that you can open up. It's got a red button in there. You can reset this whole factory or shut the whole thing down. 
and it looks like there's a little chart on the table. So because you guys saw how the back is open when you push down on the plate, a little bit flimsy, like putting things down. But once everything is in, it's kind of secure and it still kind of sucks. You can't really take off this rooftop. You can or probably pull off other pieces. So this is the name of the Lucky Factory printed right there. And you got this crazy thing going on up here. Probably wondering what the hell is this gold piece up here? Chris just says that this is like old school style gold. We've seen this before in a couple of the other sets, but especially the Chinese New Year one. But what's crazy is they use boat pieces and they chromed it out, like the paint and the color. That's really neat. So that sits on top of here. It was actually kind of hard to fit it up here because you're supposed to fit all these other pieces on here and they all get pushed. But anyway, you got this big gold piece there with some firecrackers going down it. You got another little gold piece here. So this big circle thing here with the hole is kind of like a coin. And then there's just like red pockets here. Oh man, the details are so cool. A lot of stuff going on right here. It's like it's just being filled up to the max. Now on the side, we got this magnificent cherry style blossom type tree thing. Very easy to put together. I love that touch. It really brings something different to the set. That says Lucky Bridge. So you walk across this bridge, you go down to the last little pagoda thing. Thank goodness this thing is super secure. And you got this lucky cat. He's like the manager, the guy watching over all the quality control. He's like, yo, meow, 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 meow. But yeah, this whole design is great. And on the back, he has, an, he has his own cloud. That's cool, man. That means money rolling in. Something like that, slang, right? Yo, everything looks really grand on this set. Yeah. And this is the area right here where the gold drops into the cart. And it just says safety first on the top. And you got some big ass giant firecrackers or fireworks going off right there. And finally, where the cart actually rolls down. It's like it's going through a bunch of clouds, man. It's flying through the sky. Here's the little cart. I thought it was gonna be like a little roller coaster thing that you actually ride through the conveyor belt, but the gold falls there. And overall, totally fine. But some pieces like his horns here might drag along the side of the wall or they can pop off pretty easy. And of course you got the characters, Keepley is doing a fine job of not making these guys look like your typical figures for obvious reasons. This is the Chinese god, printing on him looks A-OK. -okay. The hat can come off, the beard can come off. Wearing sunglasses, man, that's awesome. Makes him a little bit more special. But his outfit, he can't bend his legs, he can only bow, you know, be like, bow to me. For the other two guys, these are very typical girls that are wearing aprons. Okay. Yes, they are naked. Don't get any ideas. You know, I just have to double check, man. Both have different outfits on, different color. One is winking. Terrible. The other one has a very nice smile. They look fine. I think they look great. You know, you're going to probably replace and put your own figures onto this set. Totally compatible. Fit just fine. But there you go. You got three of these guys. You got the cart. Tons of little robots and lots of, lots of, lots of gold. The whole thing looks like it really is floating on a cloud. I like how they do the plate there and it is thick. And this is not on a standard plate, it's on multiple plates that you know, just combine and squeeze together. But this thing is very sturdy. It's actually really heavy. If I try to pick it up for you guys, I can show you, it can't be picked up. This thing has a lot of weight to it. No one believes me, man. This thing is big. It's not a small itty bitty set. That's probably why it's pricier. Okay, it is now time for dimensions. This is gonna get extremely tricky. This is gonna be a lot bigger than two base plates, but just to give you a general idea, if I was to put two base plates next to each other and I'm gonna pick this whole thing up, be careful grabbing this thing by the edges too. The clouds might just wanna pop off here. And I'm just gonna, yeah, this thing is already like past. You're gonna to have to use four plates on this sucker, man. It's very tricky to line this up, but I'll put it on the side so you guys can just see it visually there. It's around 46 studs that way. And it's similar to this direction as well. So if I were to like go, oh, move all the stuff and you're looking, see it is over 32. You're looking at about 44 studs, some something like that, man. man. I can't tell. This is big, man. Is it for your city? Probably not, but I'm gonna keep this for my city, man. I'm gonna put this right next to something crazy. It's only gonna get better this year. Let's check the height for this. Break out your one by four bricks. So if I stack up my bricks right here, it's like, it's really close to that. Can't go any lower. It's gonna hit the ball right here, the gold ball. That is around 38 bricks in height, maybe a little bit less than that, but just to give you an idea, there you go. Isn't that nice and tall? So use your bricks, oh! And use your imagination to be like, Daddy, Daddy, please buy the 
set for me. It's going to be about this tall. And that's your dimension for you. So this is the moment you have all been dreading for. It's time for me to drop the set. The video is complete. I'm working on other videos right now. And boy, I think this is going to survive. It'll probably shatter everything else on the table rather than the set itself. Here we go. Okay, a couple things went wrong, man. The main camera malfunctioned. I lost my audio. So you guys only got one angle. But boy, this turned out worse than I thought because this piece kind of got loosened up. And once I touched it, everything just kind of fell apart. So at least you can see the back here much easier. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like super flimsy here. It's easy for things to pop off like that. Now I have to somehow figure out how to attach it all back together. No! Do you want to get the set? Do you need the set? Yes, you do. You're not going to see it anywhere else. I think it's absolutely amazing. I love Keepley. I think they're doing a great job. Yes, they are a little bit pricey. Just get it wherever you can. You don't have to get it from us, but if you do, I'm mad appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. What other sets am I going to do now? Any other crazy things? Yes, lots and lots of things. So well, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. For now, it's time to get rich. So break me up. Ooh.